All right, off-grid stores here with another experiment today. Right now we have a 100 watt panel and pretty good sun at the moment. Not the perfect angle, not the best sun, but decent enough. Hooked up right there. Coming over here into an EcoFlow Delta Max 2000. As you can see, it is pumping 82 watts, 100 watt panel. It's pretty decent as the sun gets higher and as the time goes by in the day, it'll probably get better. But just for the sake of this experiment, this will do. So what I wanna show you is, as you can see by this panel right here, it's 100% in the sun, there's no shade on it. I'm off to the left right there. I'm not covering it, everything's good, that's why it's getting 82. I just wanna show you the power of if even just one cell in this solar panel gets covered. So this is for the people out there that live in a place that maybe has four seasons where leaves fall off the trees and everything like that. To try to make sure that you are cleaning your panels, making sure that there's no debris on it, no snow, no whatever, because they literally won't work. If one, you know, if only a couple of them are showing, it won't work. So I'm gonna come over here, I have my little leaf pile. And we're just gonna put a couple, oh, that one blew away, leaves on there. Now we're gonna go check that is 55 is the input. And we could probably get it even worse, but if I just go like this, the sun hasn't moved. I take them off, we're back up to 80, 81, 82. So even if just one leaf is on here, covering one, maybe one and a half cells. You'll see it automatically went down to 55. And if my arms were long enough, I would do it all in one go. But I'm sure you believe that this isn't that far off. And now it's at 81. So this just proves that even if you have a little bit, like this little thing right here, doesn't seem to be affecting it. But you wanna make sure that you're cleaning them and doing the best job possible because if not, you'll get nowhere close to what you want. Right now it's at 81. The next part of this video, I'm gonna hook up another panel. So we'll have two panels. I'll do it in series first. Throw some leaves on one, throw some leaves on both, and then do it in parallel and kind of show you the difference and if wiring them differently does actually make a difference. So let's get to that. All right, so now you see I have two 100 watt panels wired in series, and as long as I'm not over any of them, come over here and we'll check. You'll see it's at 160. So the other one, single was at 82. They're not at the best angle right now, so that's why we're getting 160. So basically 80 out of each. So now let's put leafs or a leaf on just one of them come over here or maybe just a handful of leaves there we go oh all right now let's come over make sure I'm not in the way of anything and it's at 120 so it's dropped it significantly and that's just you know basically that panel is getting taken away but let's say that we put some on both of them then we have leaves on both. We're at about 120 still. So they're both pulling. Remember when we put leaves on one, it dropped down to about 55. So now it's about 55 each, 50 each. Even a little bit less, I'm assuming that's the fluctuation in the sun at the moment. So as you can tell, it affects both of them equally as expected with a series hookup. I'll try to throw a few more leaves on just to try to maybe cover a couple more cells. All right, that should be good. You'll see it's still around 90 something. So that's about that. Obviously if it was all covered, it would be doing a lot worse, but it's to be expected with the series hookup. They're both gonna be affected the same way. 
So now let's do a parallel hookup, but I'll just take everything off one of them. to show you and it's still around the same oh it's going up so they're both pumping around 60 now so now let's switch it and let's go to parallel all right so right away i've wired it in parallel and it's gone up to 167 ish around there so it's a little bit more than 80 something out of each of them could just be because the sun came out the parallel connectors are back here. Just simple setup, very simple, easy setup. So now we're just gonna cover one. Oh God, stop moving. So as we can see, it's at 140. And that's because in parallel, it should only be affecting this one string and this string should be less affected. This obviously would make more sense if there was more in each string, but for the sake of the video, we don't have that luxury at the moment. So even one of them is still covered and we're at 155, 157. And now I'll cover it with a couple leaves over here. This is mainly just to point out just how little leaves or debris you need for it to make a rather large difference. We're still at 150, these leaves might not be covering it properly. I'll go get a new handful. Here we go. As long as the wind blows, this should do the trick. Doesn't blow. <laughs> now let's see what we're at. We're still at 70 something. So let's, if I clear just one whole one off, so obviously this is not the most efficient way to clean your solar panels. But this is for demonstration purposes. Yeah. We still have a good amount of leaves over there. This one's relatively clean. So that took a lot out of it but it is climbing. So, moral of the story is, is if you can wire in parallel just because it will help, but in reality, series is much easier to deal with in almost every single situation. So if you can avoid parallel, I would, but more main moral of the story is clear off your panels as much as possible. If you have trees in the way, Cut the trees out. I'll zoom in real quick on my neighbors. I don't know if you can see the top right, right there. They have trees covering one panel. That will mess up that entire string. If you just cut the brush away, that will actually change the whole situation. So clear up from around your panels. Make sure your panels are getting direct, direct sun. Make sure that if you are in a place where leaves disappear, come off the trees or whatever, that you are taking care of them. If you're in a slightly windy situation, they should blow away. I'm assuming these will blow away in a couple minutes. And yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you're interested in purchasing any of our kits or interested in anything off of our website, go check it out. Link's down in the description. Thank you.